A sure sign of the lunch rush at Seattle Center is the rotation of gig workers at food pickup windows. DoorDash confirms on its website those deliveries could soon cost even more. The company plans to add an extra $1.99 on certain long-distance orders since they take more effort to complete and a $1.99 minimum service fee for orders from DashPatch subscribers. They're trying to get out of paying their responsibility and pushing it off to the customers. Some customers are quick to admit their days of ordering delivery in Seattle are in the rear view because of the existing taxes and fees. They take an $18 meal and turn it into $35, $36, and now add two more dollars onto that? I'm not going to do it. One anonymous driver tells us she doesn't quite understand the reasoning behind another charge. I feel like driving the distance that I have been, that I am being paid fairly. DoorDash argues it's implementing the fee to remain operationally sustainable in Seattle. They claim the service continues to lose money due to the city's new minimum pay ordinance. Even after tacking a nearly $5 regulatory response fee onto every customer's order to offset operating costs, they're required to pay gig workers $26 an hour. And the nonprofit Working Washington says it believes DoorDash can cover it. They referenced the company's lobbying expenses from April through June, totaling hundreds of thousands of dollars, plus record quarterly revenue. Seattle has made it clear that all workers deserve a living minimum wage. And it's disappointing that DoorDash thinks it can get away with anything less. Reporting in Seattle, Jackie Kent, Come on News.